Hi, uh, Gabby again from the Gaffster channel. Uh, today we are talking about a pre-amplifier. It's a tube pre-amplifier that I uh, purchased uh, from AliExpress. I always was, you know, wondering what do these things sound like? And probably a lot of you uh, thinking the same. Some of them look like they have some pretty cool designs and they're pretty well built. And, uh, and do they actually sound good? So I did a lot of research because I wanted to uh, explore like uh, a pre-amplifier and uh, I, I like this particular one. It's by, uh, by Zero Zone and uh, it actually comes with a little uh, remote control so you can control the volume and the inputs which is not bad. And uh, I like the... Uh, it's supposed to be based on uh, an audio research design but this, or something like that but I didn't care much about that. Mostly I was looking at something that has some decent parts in it and decent design. And uh, I, uh, because I also do supply on demand, you can ask them for the schematics and I, I like the schematics. And I'll, I'll probably post some pictures of that. Uh, so it has four inputs and uh, this is the back. So we have here, uh, another thing is it's also, it's balanced. It's supposed to be true balance, so there's no transformers. It's just it's a true balance design. So it has uh, two balanced inputs and uh, two uh, uh, RCA inputs unbalanced, and uh, of course has uh, two one balanced output and one uh, non balanced output. So it's pretty decent. It's got some gold binding and uh, it's got some. Uh, all the switching happens by relay. Uh, it's got a fairly decent power supply for the high voltage regulator. Uh, it uses a 4, 6 and SN1 uh, uh, tubes, uh, 6N1P. And uh, which what I did, the first thing what I did is upgrade the tubes. The one that came with it were not bad, but I <coughs> I like to change uh, tubes. That's probably one first thing you probably want to do when you if you want to improve something. And uh, we did a slight improvement with that. Um, so uh, I put this through a lot of uh, testing. I'm just going to first uh, show you a little close up of the uh, of the system here. So what do we have here? We've got uh, a decent transformer and I believe this is like a delay uh, start. And this is the, uh, the power supply regulator and this is the uh, preamplifier section. Uh, it's got some decent capacitors, or at least they look decent. I'm not sure if they are. And uh, some decent transistors. Uh, so all in all, it doesn't have any uh, bad parts. Uh, if we uh, look on the other side here, you will see that uh, it's got a, uh, the volume is controlled. It's a power control, so you can use the remote. You can actually move the volume up and down, and so as select different uh, inputs, and that's all done by the uh, different uh, uh, relays that are in the back here. Uh, on the backs, got like I said earlier, it's got some decent, uh, decent inputs and outputs, and nicely uh, gold plated. It's truly balanced, so it's all oh, oh, it's got some good potential. So, uh, so yeah. So the main question: How does it sound? So uh, I tried it in two setups. This is my uh, setup number two, which is like a vintage setup. Uh, it's running on a tube amplifier. It's a linear uh, tube amplifier by Yakin. It's the MS300C. It's a really nice amp. And uh, I have two vintage speakers that uh, I really truly love. Uh, I bought these a while back and uh, they're just a thing of beauty. And they are uh, basically IMF, and uh, this is the IMF uh, 
40. Uh, it's called, yeah, it's called the ASL 40. And it comes with uh, beautiful drivers. And the bass on these is truly amazing. And uh, it's, they sound pretty good. So I'm pretty familiar with the sound that comes from these. So I tried this preamplifier and it did well. It wasn't bad. Uh, it was fairly decent and uh, I liked it and, uh, and it did all right. Uh, changing the tubes helped a little bit. Uh, I didn't go with super extremely fancy tubes, but uh, I just uh, bought some, you know, middle grade tubes. And uh, the original tubes were also good. They weren't too terrible, at least in this setup. Uh, and then uh, I'm going to try this in my other setup. I'll show you. Then we took it. Next, I tried it in my setup one with my uh, GS11 speakers. Uh, if you guys haven't seen those, I'll put a link for them below. These are also my own speakers I built uh, DIY. Uh, this is a sneak preview of the DAC I'm building right now. It's uh, it's all running on uh, ultra capacitors. I started a small video about it and. Uh, I'm still in the middle of things, so uh, bear with me, but I will be making another video on the uh, on the, this thing once it's becoming more a thing. Uh, it does sound really good as of now, so uh, lo it's looking really good. I'm still waiting on some parts, but uh, it's looking good. Um, so I tried the uh, this uh, Zero Zone uh, preamplifier. Uh, on my setup here, this is where I could see a difference, quite a good difference, compared to my uh, uh, my Macintosh uh, C22 uh, preamp. Uh, it was a little lacking uh, air, lacking in the uh, high frequencies, uh, lacking slightly in the imaging. It's uh, it's just kind of the sound stage kind of collapsed quite a bit. And uh, even though I'm feeding it with an extremely great DAC, uh, great amplifier, they're Macintosh 275s. So uh, this is when you start having uh, good equipment, when you introduce something that is not up to par, you definitely see the difference. Uh, so i uh, going to try to upgrade a few things and try to change it. But for those of you who are not, you know, they're just buying something like this to try. The moral of the story is if you are using it in a, in a system that is, you know, small to medium level, you're going to be fine. It will, it will work great. It's actually a very good preamplifier. But if you're going to put it in something more advanced and your system is at a higher level, uh, you're not going to be very happy with it. It's just not there. Uh, you bear off, look at other things and spend a little bit more money to, uh, to get to where you would like to do. Uh, I will try to upgrade it and see if I can bring it to a better level, but that's a different video. We'll talk about it uh, another time. So I hope I could help somebody to, uh, you know, know, because there's a lot of people probably wondering, just like me, how good are those things? And uh, in this particular example, you could see that it was good, but not great. And uh, but for the money, it's it's an excellent deal. I think it was around, I believe, six hundred dollars. I'll put a link about it, and uh, all the links about different things about it, and uh, then you can uh, decide for yourself. Uh, hope I could help uh, somebody uh, with some decisions. Uh, yeah, please comment below if you have any comments or ideas. If not, we'll, uh, we'll see you again. Please subscribe and help the channel. Take care.